Now we think that breathing in is respiration, but that's really inhalation. True respiration in our body occurs in mitochondria. Respiration is the movement of electrons from an electron donor to an appropriate electron acceptor. Most species respire by dumping electrons onto oxygen atoms inside their mitochondria. But a lot of aquatic bacteria respire with a different technique. They dump electrons onto metals dissolved in seawater. Yuri wanted to see what happened when he robbed these aquatic bacteria of their life-sustaining metals. We expected that these organisms would basically suffocate and perish. But that is not what we observed. What we saw blew our minds. Yuri's bacteria survived and grew what appeared to be a vast scaffolding of tiny hairs. I sent some samples to a friend of mine and she put them under one of her microscopes, a scanning tunnel microscope. She applied current. She called me up and said, you're not going to believe this. I rushed over to her lab and what I observed was that these little filaments actually had electronic or conductive properties. I could not sleep for days after seeing those results. It was just remarkable. The tiny fibers were not hairs at all. Yuri discovered they were electrically conductive filaments. He named them bacterial nanowires. These nanowires form when bacteria need to respire, but they stick around when conditions return to normal. In our brains, we have about 100 billion electrically connected cells that process our thoughts. Yuri believes that the ocean also contains vast electrical networks that comprise up to 100 trillion trillion bacterial cells. This network is highly interconnected, just like the one in our brain. It too may be capable of thought. So what do we have here? We have a cell represented by this light bulb sending a signal down a wire. This little junction it has to make a decision. Which way do we propagate that signal? To the left or to the right? When a signal propagates through a digital computer, it encounters transistors which decide whether to turn it into a one or a zero, left or right. In an organic computer, the transistors are replaced by cells which can pass the signal on to one or more of potentially thousands of connected cells. When multitudes of these cells are interconnected, 